This video is sponsored by Xreal. I think it's fair to say that these look like a good pair of shades. The only thing is that I'm not quite sure I recommend them for driving because the lenses can be a bit distracting. You know what, I got this package yesterday. It's supposed to complement the glasses pretty well, like as a standalone unit. Let's take a look. Look, I'm always keen when it comes to trying new stuff. I like tech. What can I say? I'm a total nerd. And one of the things that really caught my attention aside from, well, the Asus ROG Ally has been these glasses. Glasses I've reviewed already on the channel and received some positive feedback. They of course aren't perfect as portable monitors, but at least I like the fact they are constantly being worked on, constantly improving their AR support towards MacBook. Recently, they came out with their Windows beta and well now, they developed the Beam and no, it's not a portable charger. Well, it is, but let me just explain. So yeah, this is the Beam. It's like a tiny little computer that connects to the glasses and makes the glasses work as a standalone unit. Let's unbox it. Already of the bat, this thing really doesn't feel heavy at all and it looks pretty small to carry in your pocket, which is great. Now I'm just more curious about how this thing feels in my hand. Ooh, this is nice. So we've got the beam and uh, I guess some manuals. I know no one ever reads manuals, but uh, let's see what this includes right here. So disclaimer and safety warnings, user guide and warranty card. Let's take this one out of here. Oh, this feels nice. I like the texture. Buttons feel just right. This is pretty cool. I like it. So for those who haven't watched my video about these glasses, I recommend going to watch that. In short, essentially the X-Real Air AR glasses aren't just augmented reality glasses. They're not solely meant to deliver pure entertainment. They're also meant for users who care about productivity and working on the go. Already that physically these are very appealing and almost look like a pair of Ray-Ban glasses should say a lot. See, so this is part of the obstacle X-Real is trying to overcome. The wire connects to the phone and it sort of depends on the device but with this little guy right here that's charging the glasses are going to become pretty much a standalone unit and this is going to pretty much power them very interesting as it is i've been using these glasses already for a month or so i believe and they are comfortable they sit right on your nose you can adjust them overall they just don't feel heavy at 80 grams considering they have built-in speakers the ability to attach your own prescription and a device where each lens features a 1080p oled display essentially these are lenses that deliver an ar experience equivalent to an imax size 130 inch screen in air casting mode and up to a 201 inch screen when using nebula and x-real beam so for me when i connect these to my macbook and use the mac os nebula app with them it's a dream to have especially when traveling and when i need some sort of extra screen real estate on the go so these retina level displays with a 46 degree field of view 49 pixels per degree and super linear speakers are currently the first real step to ar technology without you looking like et i think the build is great love the fact you can also adjust the brightness within the frame of the glasses you can turn them on and off prompt up the light shade for a better viewing experience i think they are very well done Honestly, I think my biggest pet peeve with these is because my skin is like ridiculously oily, you can sort of see the oil on this. It drives me nuts, but other than that, they are pretty freaking solid. Now where things get even more interesting with these glasses is the addition of the X-Real Beam. In the past, these glasses were limited depending on the device you used them with. On smartphones, by downloading the Nebula app, you could either enjoy the AR experience they offer or just use the glasses as a portable monitor, which is still awesome. I think these with Samsung DeX is an amazing way to get work done on the go with so little. On the MacBook side of things, the same can be said. The Nebula app is needed if you 
you want those extra cool features like triple monitors and the same goes with windows which is currently in beta as well the thing is that not all devices were properly supported like this and were limited like yes you were able to just plug them into your steam deck for example and play games or to complicate things a bit more use their x real adapter to allow yourself to connect it to your iphone ipad xbox and playstation device the reason i say properly is because within these connections an expandable display feature wasn't natively supported there was zero degrees of freedom available to you and the stabilization really wasn't the best it could be plus if you wanted the ability to have side view like the nebula app natively delivers to your android device it just wasn't possible but now with the beam there are so many cool things you can do with it on a wide array of gadgets i'm gonna bring this with me i want to do some dev work at home but before that i'm gonna go eat because i am starving i guess i should also mention the fact that every time i bring the glasses i need to bring the wire the cover and uh i guess that's pretty much it and of course well the glasses <laughs> This guy gave me the a spray that I was gonna buy on Amazon that cleans the car, so we don't have to clean them. I think the only thing that really annoys me is that these glasses don't hold too too well. Also, on the top, they tend to like fall a bit. But yeah. Man, I cannot wait to have this sandwich. Apparently, is absolutely amazing. It's actually a wrap, but yeah. A little bit of hummus. The wrap. Look at that, that looks good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was so good. If you guys ever come to Montreal, it's called Shawarmas. Amazing. Now I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna try to coat a bit with the glasses and stuff and I'll show you guys the beam. I'm sure you guys will like it, it's pretty sick. I've been trying to finish my Rick and Morty app it's actually a tutorial I've been following for those who are developers and are learning iOS development. I'm gonna leave a link to the tutorial down below because it's the best freaking course for iOS development I've ever come across. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the combo, code a bit, plug these in into the MacBook Air and just have fun with them for a bit. Um, before that actually, I'm probably gonna go over the beam. I think that's a good idea. Gonna go get the MacBook. Let's get some work done. But before that, like I said, let's take a look at the beam. So let's go back to the beam. Essentially, it's a mini computer. It's really small. I'd say it's as small as a portable battery pack. More precisely, 106 inches in length, 66 inches in width, about 18 inches in height, and it weighs around 150 grams. The battery capacity on this is precisely 4,870 milliamps, which is needed to power up the glasses. It also supports up to 27 watts PD fast charge and up to three hours of play. It includes two USB-C ports that support simultaneous charging and playing, has Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi included, 4GB of RAM and 32GB of read-only memory. Memory that's necessary for updates, the onboard OS to make things work and so on. So how does this work? It's actually super simple. Just connect your x real glasses to the display USB-C port and connect your video input to the device you wish to use. Turn it on and with the orange button, you can allow yourself to change display modes with one short press or simply reset your entire screen with one long press. The first mode the beam delivers is a mode with three degrees of freedom. In other words, a mode where the screen will follow your head no matter where you look. This allows you to always stay in focus on the work you are doing, no matter where you're looking at. But if for some reason you're maybe, I don't know, sitting next to someone and you like to speak to them, with one short press, it'll put you in a mode with zero degrees of freedom. Basically a mode where the screen stays fixed in a 3D space. This allows you to pretty much mimic how a real world monitor would sit and obviously talk to people around you. But if you are say walking to get some coffee or chat with some coworkers and you want to shrink your display, 
with one more short press you can do that side view is great for when you are walking and you wish to keep an eye on what you were previously doing and with the up down left and right buttons you can choose where in your peripheral view you'd like for that quadrant to live so those are the display modes the beam can deliver the beam also of course powers up your glasses can be charged while you wirelessly watch your favorite shows and movies and it can even adjust your device's volume Basically, it's the brain and mini computer that these glasses were missing. Now, is the beam essential? Of course not. I've showed in the past how awesome these glasses can be without it. However, it really improves their usability, especially with the fact that the beam does auto adjust the shakiness of the display. It also offers wireless connections to compatible devices such as Apple AirPlay and Android Miracast. I think as a whole, it's really interesting to see how these glasses are evolving, especially with the beam. The whole kit can be a great option to replace PC monitors when you are on the go and both of these devices are extremely portable and easy to use. The overall community and forums are always super active and willing to help out to guide you towards a better experience. I'm genuinely having fun reviewing these type of products. Another device I'd love to review would be the Steam Deck or ROG Ally. I want to bring devices onto the channel that I've been able to integrate within my lifestyle. If you are interested in these glasses, I'll leave a link down below. For those who are currently owners of the X-Real Air, know that the Beam is offered at $119 and of course, it comes with its USB-C cable included. For those that don't, you can bundle it up and get the X-Real Air and X-Real Beam for a total of $488. And if you are simply interested on in getting just the glasses, they also sell them separately at $379. Obviously, you can use it with a beam and duplicate your display. That's, that, that also works. That's, that's totally fine. But the Nebula app is pretty dope. And I'm waiting for it to come out fully on Windows. I can't wait. I think it's going to like transform the Windows experience as well. These are pretty fun. Let me know what you think about having glasses like these. Um, honestly, like in the day-to-day -day living with these glasses, that's pretty much all the things you get to do you want to play with them on Steam Deck, if you want to use them for your Samsung decks like experience, there's a lot of devices you can connect to them, especially with the Beam. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys next week in my ADC video. So yeah, take care.